there are occasions when it is useful to convert continuous data into groups or categories. For example, while analyzing patient data, we get more insight if we convert the age into range, say less than 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60 and so on. Similarly, for certain analysis, we may have to convert categorical variables as factors. This shiny app handles both these functions. The beauty of the app is that once you load the data set, the app suggests reasonable range for numeric fields to group. However, you have an option to edit those ranges. Another interesting option is to undo the grouping if you are not happy with the group and bring it back to the original values. Let us proceed to demo. Let us browse and select the data set. Bank data set. These are all the fields and the nature of the field is given. You can clean that data. If you have an ID which is not required for your processing, you can select and edit. For example, the contact which is not required. Okay, select, delete. Now, the next, you have an option to review the data set. If you don't need anything, you can go back and delete it. Now comes to the grouping. Age. System is suggesting to have 5 as a range. Okay, let us review. Commit the group. It has got 9 groups. If you would like to change it to 10, yes. It gets altered. If you are not happy with this, yes, undo the change. It will bring it back to the original stage. If you want to have a range as above and below, let us go to customization. It tells you age in the data set minimum value is 20, maximum is 61. So the, the first you should start with the minimum less than 20. Okay. Then for example, we are planning to have edit below 40 years above 40 years commit yeah you have a bar chart Let us go to another one. Duration. Duration makes the number of groups are more when we say 100. So let us take it as 250. It comes to 14. If you look at the grouping, uh, frequencies are more in the first three. So we can uh, break this first three into smaller range. Let us go to customization. For example, 50, 100, 150, 200, 500, and see here maximum is 3366. You can put it as 3500. Okay, commit. See here the groups. So you can have variable groups through this customization option. Yes, let us see the range. See? Now, coming to categorical variables. So, here you see job is a categorical variable. Go back to group. You see the data structure. Job is a character. Select job. Convert it as a factor. Yes. job got converted as factor then you have an option to download the data set as csv or rds csv will not carry the nature of the field but in the case of rds if it is a factor it will go as factor let us convert it as rd no 
to clear this upload data set yes rds chip structure see job is effect there is a link in the description for you to download the r script r script carries suitable heading well organized and easy to follow that's all for today thank you for watching your feedback on this video will help me a lot please leave your comments to see more videos on this subject consider subscribing thank you once again